So still looking at Boolean, one of the key aspects to the Boolean work that we do is understanding how to create a truth table. So I'm going to show you how you would set up a truth table. So let's start with a really basic expression and we would say that we're dealing with not B. That means that there is only one variable to work with and we need to write down B and all its possible values. Now being Boolean, it's got two possible values, true and false. Um, I'll start with false and then put down true. Um, now B was the base that we started from, but our expression was for not B, so we have a not B column. And in our not B, we have to take the opposite of B. So not B, when it was false, it becomes true. When it was true, it becomes false. So that is a basic Boolean truth table for B and its opposite, which is not B. So when we start off with a variable, we need to put down every possible value for that variable. So let's look at something that's a little bit more complicated and we'll have two variables. So we're working with A and B. So we've got two variables, we put down our two columns, we put down an A column and a B column. Now we've got to come up with every possible combination of zeros and ones. So what I do personally is, oh and we have a, a column for the answer later. So what I do is, I'm just going to jot some notes on the side, I have a binary 0, a binary 1, a binary 2 and a binary 3. So I work my way up from 0, so a binary 0 is 0, 0 if I'm using 2 bits, a binary 1 is 0, 1, the binary 2 is 1, 0 and a binary 3 is 1, 1. So using two variables, I have four possible combinations. So two to the power of two, so two variables, is equal to four unique combinations. So that is down here. And so for me, the easiest way to do that is to go from a binary zero to a binary one to a binary two and up. Okay, so now let's actually evaluate the expression. And um, when we and the two together, it's only ever going to be true when they are both true, which is that last one. So that one's true, all others are false. So let's have a look at something a little bit harder. Let's use three variables. So we'll start off with um, just anding them all together to keep it nice and easy. So we're going to have A and B and C. Now using three variables, that means we have two to the three combinations, which is eight combinations. So if we work with my other method, let's set up our columns. We've got A, we've got B, and we've got C. And when we and them all together, we can do it in one hit. So I'm going to put that one as another column heading. So I've set up my columns. And I'm going to write a little note to myself. So I'm going to have a binary 0, binary 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 unique combinations. So that's 8 all up because we include the 0. So let's fill up our columns. 0 is 0, 0, 0. 1 is 0, 0, 1. 2 is 0, 1, 0. 3 is 0, 1, 1. 4 is 1, 0, 0. 5 is 1, 0, 1. 6 is 1, 1, 0 and 7 is 111. Now you don't have to do them all in this order, um, it's just that for me personally I find it easier to use a systematic approach then I don't end up with duplicate combinations in my truth table. So let's fill it out, remember that an AND, so we've got two ANDs in here, but when we're ANDing multiple things together the answer is only ever true when they are all true. So looking at my result here they are all true, so that one will be true, and all others will be false. So I'm just going to give you my truth table hints. So 
So one column per variable. Then determine how many combinations you will need. So 2 to the n, where n is the number of variables that you are using for your expression. And then you have um, next to your columns, you label each row with the binary 0 through to the final number of combinations. So hopefully that makes a little bit sense. Um, so one column per variable. Determine then how many combinations that you need based on the number of variables that are being used. Then you have the binary values, so 0 through to the number of combinations that there are. And then you fill out the details and the solution. I'll go through one that's a little bit more complex just so we can see how we might approach it. So let's say I had A and B or B and C. So I've straight away jumped into something that's a little bit more complex, um, but I do still only have the three variables. So I'm going to go through with you exactly how I would approach this one. So first of all, I'm going to have my columns. I'm going to have A, B, and C. So a binary 0, binary 1, binary 2, binary 3, binary 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now I'm going to put all my lines in there. Now when I'm approaching this one, I would start with what's in the brackets. So just figure out B and C. Okay, so B and C, remember it's only going to be true when they're both true. They are false. One of those is false, so it's false. One of those is false, so it's false. They are both true, so it's true. False, 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 and true. Now after I've done the brackets, then I'm going to start looking at the rest of the expression. So an AND and an OR are equivalent, so I'm actually going to work through the A and B part of it first. So let's put in A and B. Sorry, I'm kind of overwriting myself a little bit here. And I'm going to keep it in green just to make this easier. So we've got A and B. False, 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 false. Remember, they're both going to be true for it to be true. False. False and the last two are both true. Okay, so I've done this bit. I've done this bit. Now I've got to OR the result of this one with the result of this one. So I'm ORing my two columns. So I've got this one ORed together with this one. So I'm going to OR these and so for or to be true, something has to be true. Both of those are false, false, false. Here we've got a true, false, false, a true and a true. So when I've got a larger expression, I start with any brackets. Then I work my way from left to right and an or are the same as plus and minus. So you would work to left, work left to right with the same um, level of priority, I guess you would say. So hopefully that's um, okay for you to work with to start off with and understand how to set up a basic truth table and we'll look at more complex expressions next.